I remember yesterday. When right when I talk. Yo, you got to listen to this. It's almost its own genre. Right I think I you would like it. It's the band who was at the end of that Steven Seagal thing you asked about. Uh, okay, hold on. One second. Because remember yesterday, someone randomly in chat was like, Yo, you know they punching people in New York, and <laughs> and it, it caught me all off guard. Uh, apparently, uh, the S sucker punch attack victims meet up for the first time, and I, I guess they're they're all uh, telling their story or something. Uh, let me move chat over here. Holy shit! Um, put this here. We're all sucker punched by strangers on the streets of New York. We've told you how there's been an epidemic of these attacks. Now, for the first time, we've brought together several of the victims. They didn't know each other before today, but as Allison Hall reports, they now share a bond. These young women are part of a sisterhood they'd rather not be members of. One by one, they came to the Inside Edition newsroom and introduced themselves. I'm Allison. Hi, Allison. I'm nice Sterling. to meet you. We brought together Sterling Quinn, Marissa Harbert, Allison Hager, and Annika. Yeah, my question is, why, why are some of y'all laughing in the chat? Chat, meet the new cast of Disney's The Marvels. Like, I don't see how it's, I personally don't see how it's funny. Cartier, after they became victims of the sucker punch epidemic that's hit New York. Allison says she still flinches at the recollection of being sucker punched a month ago. And that pain would come back, like, uh, like almost like a ghost pain would come back and just, it was terrifying. Annika is a model. This is her at a Louis Vuitton fashion show. They standing there like they're the Power Rangers. It's morphine time. Devastation. <laughs> Yo, I just seen this shit, bro. I literally just seen this shit. Devastation. That's like crazy. The glamour of that video is a stark contrast to this gritty footage showing the moment she was- Oh, no, they got it on camera. No, they got it- I can't. I can't. Hold on, bruh. Was ...attacked in broad- Wait. Ready footage showing the moment she was attacked in broad daylight. I could sense on my right side. Wait, that like nobody should be get, punching people in it like at all. But that was it though. It was a stark contrast to this gritty footage showing the moment she was attacked in broad daylight. I could sense on my right side that someone was quickly approaching from the other side of the street. It looked like it barely touched her. If I'm being completely honest. I think she dodged it more, like, I don't know. And I had literally one second to look, and then I got punched in the side of my head right here. Marissa was on a subway platform when it happened to her. I'm pretty tough, but I, like, it brought tears to my eyes. It was a hard slap. I kind of felt like, yeah. like, did I imagine that? And then I woke up and I saw the bruise, and I was like, oh, it did happen. Um, Is this the way, like, I, like, obviously, I, like, I feel, like, you know, you feel bad for them and stuff. Is this the way that they're telling the story is it's just like did i imagine that like like i think you would know if you got like hit in the fucking face that's not really something you gotta gotta imagine now the girl who recorded the video had a big ass knot on her head like is she up here because i feel like she really like went through some shit bro what that one lady that we just saw previously before this barely got grazed bro like being slapped? Yeah, that's a that's, hard slap. There are now dozens of women coming out saying that this has happened to them. What's your reaction to seeing that this is happening to I'm other women? It is actually getting TV time for getting punched in the face is peak 2024. I've been getting my shit rocked on the block religiously for decades, and not once did Channel 9 call me for an interview. It's crazy. Jokes getting... aside, keep your hands, feet, and object to self. Facts. Also, she not tough. It's just crazy that you can also get like screen time for just like getting like you you got grazed like I, I'm, I'm like you got grazed like yes it was still an attempt but like 
actually so comforting just hearing each of your stories and say, okay, we felt this, but like, we can get stuff like this kind of makes this serious thing a joke. I'm, I'm not gonna lie through it and we'll we'll bring attention to it and help other women who are also struggling with this as well. All these women, members of a sisterhood they never wanted to belong to. No woman wants to feel scared walking down the street. A woman on TikTok has been compiling all the recent videos of women who were sucker punched in New York. It's now up to 43. It's just like the situation is it's just it's just the it's just the way it's just the way this whole thing is constructed like obviously it's weird that niggas is punching random women in the face like that's just just weird in general like i don't know that nigga look like a homeless crackhead or something but i i, I don't know how to i don't know i don't know jar let's go hansen over here playing it up jokes aside if i had to guess the news probably told them to play it up low key yeah you know who needs to be on the news you know who needs to be on the news these people here lol i love Hold white on. women man they got to form an AA style sisterhood because you got to shit rocked for not having your head on a swivel. Mm. Crowd flips SUV that has been in a car accident. These these are the people we need to talk to, man. Get them on the get them on the news, interview them, ask them what made them want to do that. What made them get out the car? They they could have just kept driving and gone about their business. What made you step out the car and help this 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 vehicle bro after a car accident strangers on a busy florida road pitched in to lend a helping hand and it's just in florida i know y'all got a whole bunch of random shit going on and traffic cameras from the day oh. black man what? what is this do my eyes deceive me or has it been 10 consecutive days oh my god what is this are you retiring why are you spoiling us like this this isn't normal at this rate, you playing Minecraft this year? No, that's for sure not gonna happen, bro. I just, you know, I just kind of just been enjoying streaming again, bro. Like, but calm down, bro. No, like, it ain't, it ain't getting that serious, man. As from the Daytona Beach Police Department, show two SUVs colliding in the middle. Like, of if I'm being completely honest, you know, completely honest with y'all, y'all, like, y'all here that have been in the streams these these past. How many ever days in a row? You said, yeah, 10 days, these these 10 days, these last two weeks, bro. Y'all have been just made this shit fun, bro. Like the shit y'all been saying, the shit y'all been doing. The stuff we've been just talking about, the random rabbit holes we've been going down. I don't know. I feel like I just got a whole like different like like audience, you know, because I'd never done like I never had just had streams like this, like for real in a uh in a minute or like where we just kind of just do random shit like shit just gets off course and chat loves it i don't know y'all just been vibing bro and i've just been liking it like people haven't just been asking me to just fucking listen to music it's just been we just been talking we just are able to talk about what the fuck ever and like nobody's getting bored intersection not far from the daytona international speedway other drivers begin to slow down though most continue driving past one concerned motorist parks his car and gets out to help he looks through the windshield all it takes is one person bro and then it's a and then it's a a, a pile effect a, a avalanche effect a, and uh what's the what's it a domino effect there we go People in the vehicle are okay. W At man. This point, several other drivers see the SUV on its side and rush forward to be of assistance. With minimal time to coordinate, the group used their physical strength to push the SUV so that it once again sat on all four tires. Daytona Beach Police publicly thanked the people who stopped to help. We did our speed vibing for real. Exactly, bro. Say no one was seriously injured in the crash. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman. Damn. W people. No, but we've like literally been vibing. Each stream has been like five out like five hours. So it's just it's like cool, bro. It's cool, man. Titanic prop sells for over seven hundred thousand dollars at auction. Wait. A prop from the movie. Not even like. One of the most talked about props in movie history has sold for big bucks. Then, 575. 
Mr. Green, congratulations. An auction was held for the broken wooden panel that Rose floats on in Titanic but was never quite big enough to save Jack. The piece sold for $575,000, with auction fees that price tag was over $700,000. But can you really put a price on such a legendary piece of film history? Last year, in honor of the film's 25th anniversary, director James Cameron tested theories on whether Jack I don't could know, because you got to think of it. Maybe some people, maybe to some people, that that's like really a lot. That means Forgot something to, to them. to say thank you and we love you. Know. Love six, but I honestly feel like with all due respect, is that slowly over time, the trolls black and white kids under the age of 17 <laughs> have converted from your community to Kai and Arden because you was on the ass. Yeah. That's why I think so too. I think a lot of the people who are like really were only there for music or uh, music and this album reactions. collapsed not too far from me. Wait, what? Uh, who were, who were really just kind of only there for like the music shit? I feel like they, when Kai started popping up and all this other shit, they were like, oh, oh, I'm gonna go there. This guy doesn't bitch about it at least. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I I just. I just enjoy I, I I I just enjoy this this type of vibe better. It's like yeah, the 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 numbers were bigger, but they were there just for like, oh my god, it was just for the most annoying reasons, bro. It was like that that chat then would only spam artist uh uh, uh an artist dropped or the sidemen dropped like literally chat. Oh my god, all they would talk about was like different artists and this and the sidemen on God. And I don't know, bro. It's just like y'all, bro. I just appreciate y'all. That's why it's like, bro, just always remember, like, remember your core community. Like, don't give up on something because like some shit's annoying because you got to remember there are people who actually like fuck with you, like for you, you know? So uh, anyway, this bridge collapsed not far from me. Is this this bridge that the boat ran into? Wait, is this the same? Damn, that, that boat looks way bigger than I thought it was. Well, to knock down a bridge, I mean, that shit would have to be fucking huge. New details are emerging about that. Well, hello. Um. Catastrophic Baltimore bridge collapse. This video offers a new vantage point to the cargo ship approaching the bridge early Tuesday. Wait, did they, did they, they didn't fix this yet? Like this shit's still sitting there? It's iconic to the city, you know, people are way clear so the port of Baltimore can re- Bro, it's a bridge? But it's like, I, I, I didn't think the boat would still be sitting there too. I don't know, maybe they gotta like, uh, maybe they gotta check the area, bro. New details are emerging about- Yeah, okay, silence woman Bibble. sorry that was a did she is that a sample is that a sa okay hold on we're not getting to that yet hold on i ain't gonna lie sound like she about to kill that shit climbed onto it too in a nat geo special here's less trent Cameron sent two stunt actors into an ice cold pool to simulate what Jack and Rose went through in the North Atlantic waters. They had similar body Wait, types. Wait, what video is this? Oh, the prop. What, what the hell is this? Leo and Kate, and there was also a hypothermia expert on hand since the water in the pool was 56 degrees. He got up on there and he immediately went into the really strong shaking shivering it's not the first titanic test let's see if we can both get on this thing a decade ago myth now they're just talking about the stuff happening that now they're just talking about the stuff that happened with the door bro somebody that's i, I can't believe somebody still bought that shit for seven hundred thousand dollars like are you kidding me uh felix the cat official launch i never played in a felix the cat game i actually thought felix the cat was just a show so <laughs> Don't I, I know you love seeing this. Seeing what? Wait. Is this? 
This is the, how the game actually looks. This is Super Mario, bro. <laughs> uh, no, it's Felix. <laughs> uh, we're supposed to buy this. What the hell is this? Wait, we saw this. We watched this. And everybody was like, he really he really bladed himself, Dante. No, he didn't. They're not allowed to do that anymore, Jack. Come on now. Stop it. <laughs> Stop the cat. Uh, clear, now you guys. stay down. Fuck that. Clear, Fuck that. Dante, I just got done watching the new Godzilla movie and oh my god. That was the best one yet. Even Tokay beat his ass. Did you ever get to listen to some of DC album? If so, what was your thoughts? Um... Uh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. They just yelled cut. I found your channel and this about still four going. to five years ago and you've helped through shit days or days after a horrible shift. You might recognize my name, but I just love till this day to just have your stream on and vibe. I, Much love, bro. Hope you and the fam are all good. I appreciate that, bro. I don't think, I don't, no, I don't Lola's think that guy spoiled. I think he was talking about like the last long movie. Before I discovered Twitch. I just watch her reactions to hip hop I was interested in. I think the first was Damn by Kendrick. Didn't make my way onto Twitch until 2022, now a part of the daily routine. Wait, he just Inspiration. Wait, there's no way he just Dorothy spoiled- Finch, have you heard about Google's new AI they are making? So apparently Google's simmer can change your background, lip sync and your whole body in minutes when promoted. Google Simmer might be the next big thing slash Simmer Balls. Who, wait, Google's... Wait, is it... Google Simmer. What is that weird-ass shit on my screen? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm 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 check that out. Um, Bro, there's no way he... I'm not... Okay, I'm, a, I'm not even gonna reread the thing, because I'm acting like I didn't hear it. We supposed to see the movie tomorrow. I'm acting like I didn't hear it. I'm gonna go back to this. What? 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 I was really focused on. They just yelled "cut," and the rock is still going. He said, "Shut up." Uh, clear, now you guys. stay down. Fuck that. Clear, guys. Fuck that. You shut your mouth. Clear my ass. Uh, that's supposed to be seen. I'm not gonna lie. Character, all this shit. It's cold. I'm in a puddle, my guy. It's over. Cut this sh Like, stop. How did that feel? Did that feel good? What, just because the show's over? That doesn't mean that this shit stops. The Rock doesn't give a fuck. Huh? You should cry. You should cry, boy. Look at that blood. Now. Look at this blood. Yo! <laughs> We're not even doing, we're not even on the air, man. <laughs> Who are you doing it for? Who are you doing it for? <laughs> no one's even watching, man. <laughs> Jojo, what's good, bro? Yo, so when does, when is it supposed to come back? Multiverses, bro. Yes, yes. What? Show is over and then it stops. Fuck that. Your script. No, no, no. Did he post this on his Instagram? Did Dwayne Johnson post it? May? Gary Farrow, March. Now they're making fake behind the scenes now, SMH. Oh my God. That's next. That's next month. Oh shit. God damn it. Oh my God. Yo, The Rock. The Rock is like. This nigga's carrying. I don't care. He's carrying. Fuck that. Uh. Ah, God. Uh, this is what happens, boy. Yo, there's got to be a safe word, bro. Final. Come in here, cameraman. There's got to be a safe word, word, man. That hurt. Huh? <laughs> it's hurting. It's hurting uh, me. Uh, no. Mama Rose. Mama Rose. This is for you. That's for you. Dude! I'll see you at WrestleMania. Big ass shoes! Get the camera out my face. We're not even live, idiots. Fuck him. 
<gasps> Do you have a Naruto poster back there? Uh... No. Boy, I... does this bring back some great memories, Dash, old man. I should get. I I should get get one. What? Does JoJo have a hairy booty? Why the fuck? Heart. Why 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 the fuck would I know that? Did you just? Hey Jared, will you be playing Rise of the Ronin any time soon? <laughs> Nah, this is good promo chat. Like, this is actually making me want to see. I I gotta watch the main event. I ha, I'm a, I have to watch it. Like this that that's that's good damn promo, bro. Please bring this back. <laughs> Yo. This is so stupid. It's not, it's he's not. Like, it's like his dojo or something. It's crazy. I, don't, I have no idea how he did Oh my god! Holy Oh my god! What the f <laughs> Why'd that sound like a little kid? Okay, chat, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Hold on, one more. Last one. <laughs> this is so stupid. It's just, it's, ro it's fucking Roblox, bro. Like, it's just so dumb. Why am I still watching? Like, I'm not playing this shit, man. I thought it was going to look different. I thought it was going to be something different. Like, Felix the Cat looked cool in the thumb, in the picture, looked cool. But I, I can't really see myself playing this, you know? You know, maybe it's just me, man. Maybe it's just me. Near death comps. I don't even think they. I think their channel got taken down, bro. I don't even know that they still make videos. Sexy rap music video. Wait, did you? NGL them. WWE writers are cooking. Also, if you're interested, the new WWE 2K24 story mode is actually pretty good this year. Could be cool for the channel. Um. Bros, WWE stuff gets blocked for me. I don't know what it is, but I, my shit gets blocked. Just hold on. What is this? Let me see what this is real quick. When you thought this day could not get any bigger in terms of. Hold on. This. Little adventures. That's exactly what Google DeepMind is cooking up with SEMA, or Scalable Instructable Multi World Agent. It's your AI friend who never gets tired, is always ready to play, and most importantly, plays games the way you want them to. This isn't just another AI designed to trounce human players at chess or Go. SEMA is here to change the game, literally. SEMA is a breakthrough in the way we think about AI in the gaming world. Traditional game AIs are programmed to follow specific rules and aim to win. They're like the chess masters of the video game world, calculating and formidable. But SEMA is different. It's designed to learn and play a vast array of video games, from the boundless expanses of No Man's Sky to the chaotic fun of Goat Simulator. Yet it's not just about winning or following a set path. SEMA is all about the experience, making decisions and taking actions that enhance the game for human players. DeepMind's training strategy for SEMA is truly- Wait, it plays the game for you? 
Groundbreaking. They've teamed up with game developers to dive into a variety of gaming environments. The goal is to teach SEMA not just the mechanics of each game, but how to be a part of the game's world. By combining natural language processing with an understanding of 3D spaces and visuals, SEMA is learning how to interact with games in a way that's both sophisticated and human-like. What really makes this AI special is its ability to be taught and its versatility. Whether it's exploring alien planets or causing mayhem as a virtual goat, it is being taught to understand and execute commands from players. This means you could potentially tell SEMA to build a shelter, find resources, or even just goof around, and it would set off to do just that. The goal is to develop an AI companion that goes beyond simply playing games, engaging in a manner that integrates smoothly with human players. Now, this AI model stands out for its unique training regime, devised in close collaboration with several game developers. And competitive what is online it? games Doom. are unplayable with everyone cheating now, thanks Google. Yeah, I'm like, so... People are gonna, like, farm, like, ranks and shit using this. If you like those headbanger rock type of music, I feel like you would like Ghost this duo one thing. song that is a definite headbanger. Yeah. Maybe it's only for like single player games. Developers. These partnerships have been pivotal, allowing the AI to dive into an array of virtual worlds, each with its own rules, objectives, and physics. What is it the actually point? learns by doing, absorbing Man, the Man, fuck you. It was a simple simmer what? Simmer balls, simmer nuts, simmer dick smacking on your pussy. Okay. No, Diddy. All right. I just don't understand. AI Let's Plays finna go crazy on YouTube. The scums finna run up a bag. That's what I'm saying. It's like AI plays a game now. Like, are they going to stream too? Essence of gameplay directly from these diverse environments. Google worked with eight game developers. Oh my gosh. Think about how easy that's going to be for some people, bro. Like doing less plays, but it's not even them, it's AI, and they could look so good because like the AI won't make any mistakes. Including Hello Games, Embracer, Tuxedo Labs, Coffee Stain, and others. To Wait, train this is gonna be an issue. SEMA. In a blog post, Google said that SEMA doesn't need a custom API to play the games or access source codes. The essence of this model's training lies in blending natural language processing with an acute understanding of 3D environments. This allows it to not only decode and follow player commands, but also to perceive and navigate the game world with the finesse of a seasoned player. What makes this process fascinating is the dual emphasis on visual comprehension and language instruction. The AI doesn't merely respond to static commands, it interprets the intent behind them, making decisions that enhance the gaming experience in real time. At the core of Saima's development is a challenge to create an AI that understands It plays with you like a teammate? Isn't that cheating? Or does it only play as good as you play? ...and the unpredictable, often chaotic nature of human play. This challenge involves teaching the AI to interpret a wide range of instructions from straightforward commands like build a shelter to more nuanced requests that rely on understanding the game's context. For example, in Valheim, SEMA might be asked to fortify a base ahead of a looming enemy attack, requiring it to prioritize actions and resources in a way that mirrors human strategy. You can do callouts and foresight. This emphasis on instruction-based learning sets SEMA apart. Through trial and error, feedback loops, and a constant stream of new challenges, it hones its skills. The developers used a novel training environment- Oh my gosh, I, I see this shit already, bro. Like the Fortnite kids. Running duos with, with what is this bitch called? S Sigma? <laughs> built on Sema? the Unity engine to test and expand the AI's capabilities. This sandbox, far removed from the constraints of specific game mechanics, serves as a proving ground where the AI practices manipulating objects and navigating spaces with the goal of achieving an instructed outcome. One of the most compelling aspects of this AI model's journey is its focus on spontaneity, and open-ended play. Consider the unpredictable world of Goat Simulator, where the bizarre and unexpected are the norms. Why are Here, we doing Sima this? Here, learns the value of improvisation, understanding that sometimes success in a game mirrors the creativity and randomness inherent in human play. Moreover, the technical backbone of SEMA is as intriguing as its training methodology. It integrates pre-trained vision models to process and understand the complex visuals of 3D games. What are we go? Where are we going with this? Like, what? What's gonna? I, I'm like literally trying to think. What is this? What's this mean for the future?
this this thing. While language models enable it to grasp and execute player instructions, this dual approach allows the AI to predict outcomes and react in real time, navigating game worlds with an understanding that, that goes beyond the capabilities of traditional game AIs. The architecture of this AI model is designed for flexibility and depth by integrating Spark, a model trained for fine-grained image text alignment. SEMA gains an advanced level of understanding of the visual elements within games. This is complemented by the incorporation of language processing. Now we thought we were cooked when AI could make generic 480p paintings. Now our gaming is ruined. The one last entertainment we had that actually leaned on the human skill. I'm just so baffled because it's just like, well, I guess I understand not everybody has a friend to play a game with, but isn't that the whole reason why you just, you go like with an open party and you just, team up with randoms in capabilities which empower the ai to grasp a wide range of player commands and intentions together these elements form a robust framework that supports the ai's this decision so making weird. and action planning in real time one of the standout features of SEMA's design is its use of the Unity engine for creating a dynamic training environment this innovative approach allows the developers to simulate Yo, chat, imagine, like, you you thought you'd, like, turned it off and you're just trying to play. You're just trying to play, like, Valorant just by yourself, just on some chill shit. And then suddenly you just hear, You got room for one more? Room for one more? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? No! I just want to play alone! Simulate a variety of scenarios and challenges, pushing the AI's learning beyond the confines of any single game. The Unity engine serves as a canvas where SEMA can practice object manipulation, navigation, and other skills crucial for gaming. This actually all while is, receiving feedback. This is. I don't like this. I don't like what this could be used for, man. I'm actually scared. Feedback that guides its learning process. And it's like, how are you supposed SEMA to tell? Currently how are you supposed to tell? Because. It's it's supposed to play like an actual person would play. Has about 600 basic skills, such as turning left, climbing a ladder, and opening the menu to use a map. Tim Harley, a Google DeepMind researcher and co-lead of the project said, SEMA could be instructed to do more complex functions within a game. Tasks like find resources and build a camp are still difficult because AI agents can't perform actions for humans. Crucially, the training methodology emphasizes the importance of language-driven instruction. Players do not need to learn complex command structures or navigate through menus to communicate with the AI. Instead, they can issue commands as if speaking to another human oh, player. Oh my gosh, that's actually insane. That's actually insane. Seamless interaction is made possible by the AI's sophisticated understanding of natural language, trained on vast data sets that include human player dialogues and gameplay instructions. The technical innovations behind SEMA also address one of the most challenging aspects of AI development, generalization. It is not just trained on a narrow set of tasks within a single game, but is exposed to a broad spectrum of gaming experiences. This exposure ensures that the AI does not merely memorize specific responses, but develops develops a flexible, adaptable approach to gameplay. The goal is for the- So what about like fighting games? AI to apply its skills across different games, adapting to new challenges with the same ease a human player might. Sima Project co-lead Frederick Bessie said it's too early to tell what kind of uses AI agents like it could bring to gaming outside of the research It sphere. wouldn't be However, good. However, this AI model's versatility in game- This is the new Western approach to problem solving. Have a problem? Instead of encouraging personal development to solve it, we will make you not have to develop and give you a subpar artificial replacement for what you'd get from your development. Oh my gosh. They don't even they wouldn't even need playtesters anymore or people to playtest the game. They could just ask the bot to do it. And then to identify any issues or any problems. Wait, what if, what if, what if the AIs, what if Why the- Why don't Google put this much effort into something more helpful? Make AI better at recognizing early onset diseases before they become a problem, make it better at assisting with surgery, stop making it good at taking over out fun entertainment stuff. Bro, what if this, what if AI 
eventually can just replace things that normally people review like you know like what if they just there's just no more need for demos the ai has become so advanced we have no need to make any demos like other than you know to to make ex you know uh probably to draw oh my god my finger's stuck maybe to draw like and uh uh like anticipation or excitement for a game but other than that we won't need demos we won't need play testing One needs sc like screenings. Hey, I could just identify if like a like if a movie is good or like I don't know. Dude. This is getting crazy, bro. I don't know. Gaming suggests its potential as a dynamic NPC offering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beta, betas or alphas is probably a better better like example. NGL, if I lose a game to an eye and they start trash talking me and calling me names, im kilometers. I mean, this could be cool for disabled people who can't play video games, but want to. True. Don't have friends to game with? Instead of encouraging dropping into open lobby so you have to actually try and make a real friend, we will just give you an AI friend so you still have the problem of no real friends, but at least you got an AI. Right. SMH. Dorothy, Daryl, Donald, D. Lingant, Dwayne, Deshaun, this is not real. I repeat this is not real. It was a simple joke of Simmer Nuts, like Ligma Balls, like dragging my nuts across your face. Get this shit off the screen. It was a gotcha joke D. Fonty. Then what it, the, the, like, there's literally videos on it though. Bring players a more immersive and personalized experience. Beyond gaming. The technology behind Sima points towards a future. Was all this for the joke? What? Wait. Where AI can assist in diverse real world applications. At the end of this video, is he going to be like, psych, not real? Gotcha. Navigating complex environments alongside humans. Key challenges lie ahead in refining SEMA's adaptability and ensuring ethical interactions within games. The focus is on enhancing its understanding and responsiveness to new scenarios, ensuring safety and positive experiences for users. Future research will delve into expanding its cognitive capabilities, aiming for an AI that not only executes tasks, but also anticipates needs and evolves through interactions. Sima's journey symbolizes a shift towards creating AI that can seamlessly integrate into the fabric of human activities. It offers a glimpse into a future where AI companions amplify our digital and real world experiences. So where's the making gotcha? Making our interactions richer where's the and gotcha? more engaging. As we continue. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks. This is an AI comment. This is an AI comment trying to make it, trying to normalize this shit. Amazing. Always more possibilities with AI. Yeah, no. That would be kind of cool. Could you make a, a squad in EVE Online? Dog, what? If you don't just get your goddamn homies or like find some or just. With my social skills, I'd have social anxiety playing with an AI. What? The good in-game AI is gonna be way smarter in single-player games like Stealth, Escort, and Buddy Missions. The bad, it will be abused. Let's players already have AI commentary channels. Now they don't have to comment or play over the game. Hey, uh, Sima, y y you wanna uh, get so some wood for the house? I mean, if you want to, it's like you know, you don't have to if you don't want to, but. It would, it would kind of help to build the base. It's like, dog, it's a fucking AI. It's a, it's a fucking bot, man. Just ask, <laughs> just ask the question. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That's, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't see the purpose of this. I don't even know if it's, I don't even know it's real anymore because uh, niggas just talking. They boot to drop my stream as soon. Get it, sexy. Oh, she dropped a music video for it. Oh, say less. Okay, hold on. Let, let me add that to this. Bro, sexy red. She been dropping bangers, bro. I told you she's my favorite part on that uh on that Nardo Wick on that Nardo Wick uh uh song. Have have a hood nigga saying fa la la. Chat, I'm so excited for that um. I'm so excited for that that Marvel game. 
Get it sexy. Okay, I think we're ready. I don't think there's really anything else to uh, check out. I think we can move to the music. I think we can move to the music. Have a nigga saying fa la la.